three days we spent with this unit, they alone lost seven soldiers. These men, trained to fight in tanks, have no choice but to fight on foot. Taking one building at a time, it's a painfully slow and gruelling process. As the soldiers push on, one of them is shot from just two houses away. Despite being regularly pinned down by sniper fire, the soldiers have to forge ahead, knowing this will lead to further losses. Today, their goal is to liberate a school that they say 10 ISIS fighters are shooting from. To try and avoid the sniper fire, the soldiers blow holes in connecting walls. and edge their way closer and closer to the school. As they get closer, bullets zip and crackle over their heads. Just a street separates them from the school. But the incoming fire is so great that they still call on American and Iraqi air controllers to repeatedly strike the building and kill the ISIS fighters. So the school, where they said there were 10 snipers got hit with two other strikes and goodness knows how many shells from tanks. So this just shows you why these last few neighborhoods are proving so hard to clear because they're getting pounded from the air all day long and all night. One group of soldiers advances towards the school. They fire wildly and even resort to throwing hand grenades. Two soldiers have been killed while storming the school, almost certainly by friendly fire. After over eight hours of vicious fighting, the 9th Division finally takes the school. Once the bodies are taken away, enraged, the soldiers fire into the air and back into the school. So it looks like this part of the school, at least, is liberated. 